Hey, what's going on? Welcome and welcome back. My name is Durant Cersei. I am a singer, songwriter, producer, performer, actor. Eh, you nasty. And welcome to the house of the unofficial and sometimes, as you will see here, the unprofessional fragrance and skincare guru, baby. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and I do have an EP called The Will Out. So please, if you haven't checked that out, let's get it to a million streams, a million buys, a million everything. You know, it's quick, fast, and to the point, 14, 15 minutes of music, songs that I wrote. Um, I wrote every song. I co-produced every song, um, every lyric, music note. I approve. It's mine. Okay. <laughs> it's mine. Anyways, but I hope you all will listen to it, of course, after you watch this video. So today we are talking about an influence event. <laughs> yes. I went to an influence event this past week. Um, Fat Finds by Keitra. If you don't know, I'm sure most of you who are watching me probably know who she is. Uh, but she is our bad and bougie YouTuber here in the fragrance YouTuber streets. And so I decided to go to one of her events that was sponsored by Brown Sugar Babe. If you don't know who Brown Sugar Babe, they are known for their famous body oils. Some are kind of like um, inspired fragrance oils and some are their own creations. But first, I want to talk about my scent of the day. I don't celebrate holidays. It's nothing religious. I just am not a holiday person. Um, I just know that when it comes around holidays, it's too many people outside, too many things going on. People don't know how to act. Everybody drinking too much. I don't want to be a part. So I'm usually kind of like when it comes to holidays, I'm usually like, ah, I kind of want to be by myself. Okay. Anyways, but I want to talk about my fragrance of the day. I'm giving very much clean, beachy today because I would love to be on a beach with somebody fine and, you know, we just walking, holding hands, maybe kissing a little bit, you know, something like that. So I uh, went in here with my skin. Forever Moods, you remind me. You remind me of a girl that I... Then I went in with Ellis Brooklyn... Miami Nectar. Baby, I am giving all kinds of clean, beachy vibe nation. I smell so freaking good right now. So I got this on my skin. So I... And then I got this over. Spray it all over here. Baby, you could just really keep spraying that. If you don't know, I got me a free bottle because they gave me a broken one. They sent me a broken one by mistake so I can spray... <laughs> Till my heart's content when it comes to this fragrance. Anyway, but yes, oh my God, it smells so good and it just makes me feel so happy. Yes. And before I get into the uh, story, I've got two little things that I want to talk about here. First, I want to talk about Forever Moods Crown Royal Blackberry Candle here. And so I'm a part of the fragrance club. So we got kind of like first dibs on it. And so... um I wanted to uh, give it a smell. Let me see uh, what it says here. Inspired by the flavors of Crown Royal Blackberry Flavor Whiskey. This limited edition, a uh, limited edition for the summer season. To create the extraordinary blend, Crown Royal whiskeys are carefully selected by the master blender and infused with the juicy flavor of fresh blackberries. So let's see what it's giving. And I mean, as far as the scent notes, I don't know if the scent notes are on here, but it's it says notes of blackberry, whiskey, accord, and vanilla. And if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> I love wearing vanilla. I love being a gourmand type kind of guy. I love wearing it. But when it comes to my candles, I do not like gourmand candles at all. Oh, I do not want to walk in the house and smell like pecans, vanilla, all that kind of stuff. It has to be very much blended nicely for me to tolerate because tolerate because when it comes to gourmand fragrance candles, for some reason, they just make me nauseous. I don't know why I can wear it on my body, but I can't handle it when it comes to my candles. When it comes to candles, I need fresh, fruity, comforting, linen, something like that for me to actually tolerate. Now I have a candle warmer, so I don't like candles at all anymore, which is great because that candle warmer is powerful. Anyways, this is called Berry on Top. Yeah. So being a part of the group, I think I got a little discount on it. I don't remember. It was kind of a long time ago, but anyway. Um, this is giving very much 
blueberry incense. Yeah, it's kind of, I don't know if there's such thing as blueberry incense. It just smells like an incense with blueberry flavors on it. Um, Really good. Um, Kind of gives a hint of like that whiskey taste, the whiskey smell, but not too much to where it's like not tolerable. So this will be, this will probably be nice. This is like the perfect scent for a 4th of July. Like, like you're just sitting around and you're just chilling and talking to your family, friends, or loved ones. This is like the perfect smell. Oh, I like that. Oh, Forever Mood. Y'all did that. I love Forever Mood. I have been a part of the Candle Club since the beginning. This was, everybody could buy this. Um, it was just limited edition. But I've been a part of the Candle Club since the beginning. And they are really doing a great job with the candles. Now, the last ones we got for the Candle Club, they're good. They're a little more uh, gourmandy. I want Forever Mood to do more like fresh scents. They are kind of, they do a lot more to me, in my opinion, a lot more gourmandish-esque fragrances. They have done some, you know, uh, spring type fragrances, but they don't do enough, in my opinion. So uh, me, I don't like gourmand candles, so I prefer you don't even have to make any more of those. <laughs> if you ask me. Okay. Anyways, again, a second before and then after this, I'm going to get into the story, okay? I got a sample of Carioca Heart from the Scent Room in Dallas, okay? Because I was so interested in this fragrance and I wanted to know, like, what is it really giving? Are the girls just losing their minds or is it really good? Maybe when I tell you, I, poured, I put this on when I got it and it smells so freaking good. It is so juicy. Juke, but it has like this strong note, and I think it's the Ambroxan that kind of, to me, it kind of, um, because this feels like it could be like an overall, like anybody can wear a scent, but I think that little, that strong hint of Ambroxan kind of, it's like, oh, yeah, I don't know if a lot of people would like this, but it's been selling out, so a lot of people do like it. But you know what this kind of reminded me of when I first got it? It kind of reminded me a little bit of Exalte, just a little bit. I don't think there's a rose note in here, and I think that's kind of where the difference is. But baby, this is so juicy. I said, hell no, hell no. I ordered a full bottle of the Carioca Heart. Luckily, it was in stock because it's been hard to get. But baby, this smells so freaking good, and I don't know why. Even smelling it now, it gives a little bit of Exalté by Fumi Monet, but just a little kind of like more fruity and juicier than that because hers is very sophisticated, rosy type. And this has no rose note, but it gives that. Mm, mm, baby. Y'all, were the hype was real on the karaoke heart. I, I wore it on my skin like for a full day. And um, this, I, I have a little outing I'm going to tomorrow. So I'm, you know, wear it again tomorrow along with one of my uh, oils here. So... I got to go to uh, Fab's, Fab Finds by Keitra's event, her um, Bad and Bougie mocktail party. And let me tell you one thing. When it comes to events for me, I get into the mindset where, oh, I want to go. It's something about schedules. And it's not like I'm trying, I'm like this lazy bum, but it's something about having things scheduled that gives me anxiety. Let me give you an example. Like if I have a performance tomorrow, I'm not going to be able to sleep today at all because I'm going to be going over every detail, uh, kind of, uh, you know, don't know what to expect. So that's kind of going to give me a little bit of anxiety there. And so I'm never going to be able to sleep. And so that's what it is for everything that is on my schedule, like doctor's appointments. It's just something about having something scheduled that kind of just gives me anxiety. That's why I, in a perfect world, I would wake up with nothing to do unless I wanted to do it. Okay, because I just want to live. I don't, I don't want to be bothered by it. I got to go here at 10, 11, you know, one of those things. So when I knew the event was coming, it's like, I, and this is for every event, even performances, I want to talk myself out of it. Like, oh, I don't want to go. No, this is not going to happen. So when I drove, because this is in Dallas at Neiman Marcus at the North Park Mall. If you don't know about North Park Mall, it's really like the bougie mall in Dallas, in my opinion. Uh, but there'd be some fine folks in there. Ooh. Jesus!
Jesus. Uh, it's like, oh, you, I don't need to go out of Dallas to find love. It's it's fine people here in Dallas, okay? But um, I had to drive to Dallas, and that's about an hour or so away from me. And so when I got there, I was really on time. And then, of course, when I get to Arlington, drive to Arlington, there's traffic. There's two lanes closed in Arlington. In Arlington, if you don't know, Arlington's traffic is almost as bad as Dallas. It really kind of is, to me, in my opinion, it's worse than Dallas because so many things have been, especially with the stadium and all that stuff, it's just kind of, it's horrible. So I wasn't, wasn't going to make it to about 10 minutes late. And I was just like, they said they were going to start promptly on time. I don't know. Uh, she sent us an email saying, you know, where it's going to be, address, blah, 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 how to get there and all the good things. And I'm just like, it says it's going to start promptly. So I'm like, oh my God, I hate walking to events late. This is terrible. And so I was trying to talk myself out of it, still driving. It's just like, I, was like, I don't want to walk in there and I'm late. I'm just going to miss everything. This sucks. But anyways, I got there around 110, had to walk. I don't know where this cafe is. There's a Neiman Marcus Cafe. Did y'all know that? That's how much I don't go to Neiman Marcus. <laughs> we don't have a Neiman Marcus here in Fort Worth. I was closed down, I think. We uh, don't have one at all. But I didn't know they had a cafe. So I didn't know how to get there when I got there. So I made it there 106 or something, 106, 108. And when I got there, I'm walking around lost because there's like three levels of Neiman Marcus. And I'm like, what the world is going But you got to act normal because, you know, these people already don't want, they don't know, you know, black people. So I, I don't know about you, but I just feel uncomfortable because of being a black man. And, you know, uh, people are probably looking at you like you still. So, I, you know, I still got to walk with my head up and like I own the place. You know, just walking, you know, I already smell good. So I'm just walking, I'm going to own it. So I'm walking like I'm confident and know where I'm going and then I don't know where I'm going so I get up to the third level and because I saw the thing said the cafe's in the third level and I think it even said it in the email I don't remember but uh, I get up there and I'm like okay where is it because it's still like going on up here in the third level and so I asked a nice black she was very nice black lady uh there was a police officer i was gonna ask him but the black lady came I was like good I want to talk to her anyway and she was very nice and so she told me where to go and so I got in there and they have not started. Now, they were all mingling. Everybody was just talking around. It was very nice setup. Everything was set up so nicely. And so I'm kind of, I walked into the door and I'm kind of like, okay, I'm here. Um, who do I go to say that I'm here? It just wasn't giving all that. And so I'm like, oh my God, this is so awkward. And so next thing I know, I looked over and Fab finds by Keecha. Keecha walked up to me. She was so welcoming. I was like, I didn't show anybody my ticket. And she was like, oh, I got you. I was like, yeah. And so I walked in and I talked to her for a few minutes. She was, but I tell you, Fat Finds by Keetra is the sweetest. The woman that y'all see on YouTube is who I saw in person. And that is why I so love her. And so, um, yeah, I just met her. Just, I love her. Okay, great. Woo. I love people fast. I, I, I move fast. <laughs> but anyways, we got in there, and so first she was like, you know, just uh, hang around, you know, do what you got to do. And, you know, I, I went to, you know, I want to go, where are the oils? I want to smell the oils. <laughs> and so uh, we go, I go, and, you know, after I talk to her, and she has a whole stand of things. She has one of these. I took one home, you know, a bougie babe. Yes, she had these on the table with the oils. And then there were some inspired oils. Um, there was a Baccarat Roots. I think it's called Wild Card um, from Brown Sugar Bay. But she also had the uh, Baccarat Roots fragrance so you can see the difference. I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, there was one for Bond uh, New York Nights. Um, she had the Bond, you know, fragrance there so you can see the difference. And then the Princess one. It was so nice. And so I was smelling, you know, doing my little content if you uh go watch my short i did a short on it um i'm working on the shorts i'm not really good at these things but i'm working on it as best as i can so i go you know i smelled all of them and i was like uh she didn't have every single one there which is understandable it, it wasn't a big deal um because there was one i want i want to smell it girl it wasn't there that was the newest one so i understood that not being there um uh the one that's supposed to be like Delina, she didn't have that one neither, but that was fine. So out of all of them, I found the ones that I smell. And so she had these at the tables here, these gift bags here. And I was like, oh, come on, gift bags. We had gift bags. And so there was some brown paper in here. I just, I don't know why I did the brown paper. And so in each one, it had, you know, two 
full set. Well, you know, not the huge, huge size, but you know, the middle. I forgot what ounce. Let me see what ounce it is. Uh, hold on, let me see. Oh, I just told this to pieces. Because I, I've used it, I just wanted to put it in here just for the video. <laughs> yeah, but um, this is not the bigger size. This is like the next two. It's like a small one, then there's a medium, then there's a large one. These are like the medium ones. And so, you know, I looked in, I got a bag, and I was like, well, these are not the ones I wanted. Because I, when I went to smell all of the oils, the ones that I loved the most was Madam, which Madam is the one that's supposed to be like a um, dupe or a inspired fragrance of the House of C.I.'s Minnie Mouse. And I've never smelled that fragrance. She had that fragrance there as well. I didn't smell the fragrance, now that I think about it. I didn't even smell that fragrance. That's crazy. And the other one was Bad and Bougie. And Bad and Bougie was this very nice, very fruity, just, oh, it was so good. It's just such a nice, they both were very nice. Uh, we'll talk about it a little bit, you know, when I smell them in a, little, in a few seconds. And so I got the bag, and it was like some smoky, something, something. And so I took the bag, I'm like, you know, it's all right, you know, they free. You know, they came with, you know, the ticket or whatever. And so she came over there and she came and spoke to me again and we were talk for a little bit and she asked me, she, we said something about the oils and I was like, I told her that I like Madam and I love, um, I love Bad and Bougie. She said, oh, okay, well, what did you get in your bag? And so I told her which one. She was like, oh, you can get another bag. I have one here, you know, with uh, those two in here. So she went and got me a bag and switched it up. I was like, yes, yes, kids, yes, customer service right there. <laughs> See, I was like so astounded by how sweet she was. And so, yes, I got Madam and Bad and Bougie and I have been using them since the event. Yes, I have. So this one right here, and I'm sorry for the fingerprints because I have been using this one is Bad and Bougie. This is not inspired by anyone. This is their own creation here. And I can't really, this is very fresh, fruity, it gives me very bright berry type scents, but baby, it is so freaking sexy. Let me see. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm trying to look at my fragrances to see what it kind of reminds me of to kind of give you an idea. Oh, mm, mm, mm. this smells so good. Um, let me see. I can't think of anything. You know what? I can't tell you what it gives because I can't. But there is, I believe there is a champagne note in here. I believe. I believe. I wore this with uh, K. Ali's The uh, Six Silk Santel, the, the clear bottle that nobody can get because it's sold out everybody, everywhere. They, hold on, baby. When I tell you something, you better listen to me, okay? When I tell you something, you better listen. You better lay low. You I said, baby, what? When I tell you this right here is a combo, you need, because there is a champagne, I believe there's a champagne note in Bad and Bougie too. I wore these together and I about got all of my life and then some. You have to put these together. You have to, please. Now, I know you want to skimp on it because this here is limited edition. You see how much I got? I've, I've had mine since it came out because I'm scared because I'm nervous that it ain't going to happen. But it kind of, it doesn't remind, but baby, it goes so well with this. It went so perfect with this. So I really love that. And I was just so happy I got what I wanted. Okay. And the other one I got was, again, Madam. And this, uh, I have never smelled the Minnie Mouse fragrance. She had the fragrance there, and that's the only one I didn't smell. That's crazy. Because I was so enamored by this fragrance. This fragrance is so freaking good. And there's a red, I think there's a red current note on here that makes it so deal. But let me tell you something. I was sweating profusely one night. And I went uh, to a friend, I went to a place here and um, I needed the elevator open. I couldn't get the elevator open. And some guy, he opened the elevator, he used his little uh, key thingy. And then when I walked back, cause I just felt like, oh, I'm ready to go home. I feel so stinky. And he, he walked, by, when I walked to the elevator and I passed him, he was like, oh, you smell good. Oh, baby, 
When I tell you something, when I tell you, when I tell you, when I tell you, when I tell you, this freaking smells so good. And I really cannot explain. It kind of can be a little medicinal in a way, but like sweet, medicinal. I get, um, I think there's a red current type thing going on, but oh God, you just have to, ooh, you have to experience it. Oh my God. It smells so freaking good. And I wore this with um, vanilla candy, the candy sugar one. Oh, baby, I was smelling too good. This is so freaking good. So I got these at the event and I am so freaking happy. I'm kind of like low-key low upset that, because, you know, they usually have a thing here to keep it from spilling. But I was just like, nah, when I need my oil, I need to... <laughs> You know, I don't want that blocker, but you know, anyways. So these are so freaking amazing and we got to take them home. So overall, I believe as far as an event goes, I believe she did such a good job. She was very like, uh, you know, friendly with everybody, working the room, blah, blah, blah. And then we sat, we stood up and she said, I mean, she talked to me for a good maybe 20 or so minutes because, you know, I'm doing videos and I was asking her questions because the thing that inspires me about her is that um, she, there are people that have way more followers than her. And the fact that she can get these people into an event, you know, um, and sell them out and all that good stuff and do all these things with these brands something there's something definitely special about it. and I, I saw it for myself because she's very personable she's very personal and you, you can tell that she really loves fragrances but it's like it's people who have more followers than you that can't even do half of this <laughs> and it's crazy and so you know she was giving me a few pointers we talked about fragrances and all that good stuff and then she was like you know what because I was telling her, uh, you know, I like the Chris Collins fragrance, you know, long kiss goodnight. And I wanted to get a uh, freaking uh, Lost in Paradise. And I wanted to smell lust. And she's like, give me your address, send me your address, and I'm going to send you some bougie. Baby, you know, you just did. You just do those type of things. And it's like, okay, well, you know, that's pretty cool. So I sent her the address. And then next thing I know, baby, Miss Kitty should have gifted me some samples of Chris Collins. Baby, look at this. So, she got... Now, y'all know, if you've been here for a little bit, I had trouble with Chris Collins. I had trouble. But I ended up falling in love with Long Kiss Goodnight. And if you remember, I said I was going to give me a full bottle of this, didn't I? I said it. I said it. And Harlem Nights, I ended up really liking that one, too. His are... I think his are just, like, slow burners, baby. You got to let it go. But, baby, she let me... She gave me a sample of Lust, which is his newest fragrance. Now, Long Kiss Goodnight, we love that fragrance. I don't want to get too in-depth, because I've talked about his fragrances on the channel. But, um, you know, aside from that, you know, that channel... Never mind. Let, let me smell it again. Let me see if I still like it, okay? Let me see if I still like it, okay? Let's do that. Uh, I don't want to spray none because I want it for myself. I want it for myself. I want it for myself. Let me see if I still like it. Yes. Very sweet. Oh! It's like that rose. That's a rose note. Is there a rose note in here? Oh, my God. Because you know I love a rose note. It just bang. Oh. Oh. This is giving very much... It could be worn during the summertime, but this is summer night, date, hang out, be sexy. Ooh, I cannot believe I did not like this fragrance at first. I cannot believe I didn't like it. But baby, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something right now. I don't know what you have been told. I have no idea what the streets are saying. But I'm going to tell you something. Now, lust is amazing. Amazing. I, I, I am not playing with you. I don't care what anybody say. I don't care if they like it, love it, hate it. Lust is sexy as hell. <laughs> Baby, woo! This might be more fitting for the colder months. But baby... This is such a beautiful, chocolatey, sexy, musky. Oh, baby. When I, I did this, like, 
I'm not spraying it. I'm not spraying it because I need it. I need it, baby. I need it. I'll get the full bottle of this. I promise you, if I don't get any other Chris Collins, this last one I'm getting, baby. I sprayed this one time. And it gave dark, sexy, chocolate, musky, just, oh, this is a sexy, chocolatey, beautiful, musky fragrance. It is beautiful. It is so freaking beautiful. It gives like, it's very much more for the winter, colder months. But, you know, if you spray like one or two, like I did when she, when I got it, I sprayed two, ch -ch -ch, and I had my light framing song, but baby, I kept getting whiffs and wafts like <laughs> simply Shauna say, say, I got my wafts. I kept getting wafts up, baby. This is a sexy fragrance right here. Now it leans more masculine. I know a lot of women are probably talking about it. I don't think I've seen men talk about this fragrance, but this leans a little more masculine, but a woman who likes a beast type fragrance will love this fragrance but it gives me like it's a little leaner more masculine but this is such a sexy lust is so amazing so i really 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 really, really want to say shout out to Keitra. fat finds by Keitra on youtube gone over there in her comments uh durant said you cool he said he love you we love you too you know all don't get things because she really did her big one with this event. And again, I sent her a note, you know, saying how grateful I am and all those good things. But I, I want to say on camera, thank you, Keitra. I definitely appreciate this, baby. You are my best friend in my head. One of my best friends in my head, along with my subscribers. You one of them. And so I really, I'm so, I'm so happy that I decided to go to the event and not check it out. You know, kind of like be like, oh, you know, it's too high. I don't need to go, whatever the case. I feel like I met an amazing human being, you know? Outside of, you know, doing this, you know, uh, sending this and, um, you know, the body oils, she was really just a warm and welcoming personality. And it's like, it's so refreshing to know that all the things she's doing that I'm looking at, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm like a little bitty baby in this whole, I'm just like a little bitty, little bitty fish in this pool. <laughs> and just looking at her and, you know, how she's doing so many things and she's steadily going. And it's not like she has a humongous following. She has, to me, it's like she has a good number to where she could do great things. And it's just so inspiring to know that I don't have to have 100,000 to, you know, be, you know, um, you know, I don't know if she considers herself successful, but I would say she is. I, I don't, to me, I don't feel like I have to have, you know, 50 million to be successful. She kind of proved that to me. And she also proved that you can be very warm and welcoming with all of these blessings that have been bestowed upon you. And um, so I really appreciate her. I'm so glad I met her. And yes, it was very so on top of everything. It was just everything was just inspirational. It, very inspirational. So shout out to Fab Farms by Keitra again. She, oh my God, I am a fan, baby. I'm a fan and I'm a friend. Okay. Anyway, so uh, yes, leave a comment, all those good things. Tell me, have you been to an influencer event? Maybe in the comments, please like. Uh, you know, please like, you know, subscribe if you haven't. Subscribe to my channel. Um, again, I'm really thinking about doing a music video. I'm, you know, just pray for me and see how that. Oh, that smells so good. The whiffs and the wafts. The whiffs and the wafts. Chris Collins, I just want to give you a public apology because I really kind of wore you out in my first impressions for your fragrances. But I'm going to tell you right now, Harlem Nights, Long Kiss Goodnight. Um, Lost in Paradise have changed my mind after just living with them. You you really have to do that. I mean, I wouldn't say like if you buy a $300 fragrance, because those were samples. If you buy a $300 fragrance and it's not sitting well with you, I don't know. You might want to, you know, rethink that. But they were samples. And just living with them, I can't believe I just fell in love with most of them. I think most of all of them that I had in there. And baby, lust was love at first sniff. Lust is love at first. Lust is probably going to be my signature cold weather fragrance. I'm telling you, that fragrance is so... If you like a chocolate note, I didn't know I liked the chocolate note. I didn't. 
I didn't know I liked it, but I wanted to smell it to see what it was giving because everybody's like, oh my God, it's so great. And I never heard any bad things about it, but I was just like, you know, this is all, this is how I feel. So I don't care if they liked it or they didn't. I'm telling you sincerely, that lust is crazy good. It's it, it's good. I ain't gonna lie to you because Chris ain't giving me nothing. I wish he would, but <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, but he hasn't told said anything to me. I haven't communicated with him. I'm telling you just from my for myself, lust is amazing. It is it's one of the best ones I've smelled this year. It, it's one of the best. So, anyways. That is all for this video. I didn't think I was going to be talking this long. I'm sorry if I talked your head out. But if you are here at the end, I appreciate you. And I love you the most. Anyways, I will holler at you on the next one. Because I bought some things before my no buy. So we're going to have to talk about them on the next video. Okay. I know. I know. I'm done. I'm for real. I'm done this time. All right. All right. Bye. <laughs>